Well, over the past month, New York and Pennsylvania have led the nation in flash flood warnings, and it could be a recipe for disaster. WENY meteorologist Connor Friedoff breaks down the numbers to look at why it's happening. With 79 and 66 respectively, the Empire and Keystone states lead the country in flash flood warnings. In May, things started off with drought-like conditions. June saw rainfall for the Twin Tiers that was barely above average. But then in July, a surplus of over one inch of rain hit the region. This has put some local forecasters like Mitchell Gaines of the National Weather Service in Binghamton on high alert. For May, we had a lot of high pressure systems, uh, which have moved through our area, which is fair weather. And then here in the month, months of June and July, the jet stream has shifted around to where we're seeing more fronts come southeast from the uh, Great Lakes and upper Midwest that are diving into our area and pulling up a lot of Gulf moisture. When it comes to an emergency situation, Tim Marshall, director of public safety for Steuben County, said communication is key. We're lucky to have a bunch of different tools available to us to be able to communicate with the forecasters, with the hydrologists at National Weather Service. We'll get briefings from the National Weather Service. We're always following their forecast. We're uh, looking at their forecast discussions of what they're anticipating coming up. So we know in advance what's coming up, what to prepare for, and we're constantly monitoring that. Both Gaines and Marshall mentioned the importance of emergency planning in case of severe weather. Looking forward, the Climate Prediction Center has the area at risk of receiving above average rainfall to start August, which could lead to flooding. Stick with the WENY First Warning Weather Team to keep you informed and how to stay safe. For WENY News, I'm Connor Friedhoff.